<laughs> Here is a USB pen drive with Antix distro. Let's install it on my laptop. First thing I need to do is to create partitions and format my drive. I'm going to install CLI only Linux and then build the display environment I want. So after formatting, I run the installer and answering its stupid questions. Once OS is installed, we can boot into it and start setting up. It isn't possible offline, so the thing I'm doing now is praying. Praying it supports my Wi-Fi card. Out of the box. Seems like I'm lucky today, let's connect to my Wi-Fi. It works! Great! So, git. We need to install git. Why am I always forgetting to type in y flag? Maybe because I am a git. Too many git words in this video. Git. I've got to mention this flash drive I've plugged in behind the scenes. It contains three files. Two bash scripts I wrote and the wallpaper. One of those scripts enables network services on boot. In other words, I won't need to connect to my Wi-Fi each time manually. The script itself is quite case-specific, because my distro doesn't have systemd. If you know, you know. However, the second script might be helpful for everyone who wants to install bswm, which is a tiling window manager I am going to use. First three commands of this script are responsible for installing essential Debian packages. You can find these on bswm github wiki page. However, in my case that wasn't enough, so I installed some additional stuff. Then we need to clone and make bswm in a 6hkd. A 6hkd is a hotkey daemon. The following commands copy example configs to the home directory, we'll talk about them later. The next command ensures I've got essential for a display environment, the rest creates config for it. After running this script there are only two steps left before I launch the display environment. The first one is to open bswm configuration file, which is also a script, and tell it to apply a wallpaper. I have installed fach for that purpose. The second step is to open the sxhkd configuration and define the hotkey to open a terminal emulator because once we're in the display environment, there is only a wallpaper on the screen. I've installed KIT as a terminal emulator. TTY stands for a typewriter. KITTY is a KIT, I like that. So, I think we're ready to start the display environment. <laughs> so naive. Troubles are commonplace here, let's shoot them down. The first thing I check is an XR configuration, created earlier by my script. Seems like it doesn't see my hardware, so let's explicitly define the driver. Check again, aha! Uh -huh. As it turned out later, I had to install a hardware-specific package. Hey, Haruhi! Only wallpaper, as I told. We have configured the display environment to the point it starts, but there are too many things to add here. Each time on the startup I will log in through the terminal and then type in the startx command to launch the display environment. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't like logging screens. Ok, let's finish my setup. The first thing I want to do is to adjust the backlight, because it's killing my eyes. It is done by X Backlight Utility, let's install and use it. Then I want the terminal to match my wallpaper's colors. I need to create the kitty configuration file. <coughs> I'm sorry. The primary string formats and color are handled by the bash configuration. Here it is, the PS1 variable. You can see some code here, the if statement, but I don't care, I just explicitly define it at the bottom. That's how my terminal looks on the next boot. By the way, there is a shortcut for kitty to change the font size. Anyways, let's adjust the default value. Oh, and I've played with the contrast a little. To let the system treat my machine like a laptop, I installed these two packages.
Then I add this line to the BSWM config to make the cursor look normal. I want to check the time, battery charge and adjust the volume via keyboard. To do that, I have to install the following packages. Then edit the SXHKZ config. To launch applications, I've installed DMinU and gave it a shortcut. As a file manager and a music player, I've chosen super lightweight solutions just because of my flavor. I've also tried Qt Browser, it's like a Vim browser. I like it! To connect to my Bluetooth headphones, I have to install the following packages. Then follow the Bluetooth control prompt. I follow this prompt and start pulse audio each time I want to connect. Not very convenient, maybe I will make the better solution in the future. Okay, finishing touches and I'm completely set up to be happy. What do you think of my setup? Please leave me a feedback. And also, if you want some cozy place to chat, join my Discord server. See ya.